Hi guys, welcome back to Jaden Crafts. And today I'm gonna be organizing my threads. So let's get started. I got some new threads at Walmart today and they're pretty sick. I have this pack over here, I already unwrapped it. But I got multiple, like, color-changing gradient threads. Oh, that's a hair. Wonderful. I got multiple gradient threads of, like, different colors. Changes from, like, purple to green to blue. I have gradient threads, but most of them, those aren't gradient threads. Those are, like, different color threads that, like, color-shifting threads. Yeah, they shift into like different colors, but the ones I have already, they're gradient shifting. So they go from like dark pink to light pink to white, back to light pink to dark pink. You know what I mean? I already have some of those, but I was like, I should get some more of um, different threads. But yeah, I don't have any black or white threads. These are my only black threads in my... I don't have any white threads so I got some of those I think there are there's 36 in total but yeah I t desperately needed these so let me set you up in a good angle and I will start organizing okay so I already wrapped a little bit because I was like, I was just chilling and I was rapping and then I was like, oh, I should film this. That would be pretty lit. But yeah. So I'm going to be watching Dance Moms throughout this whole entire um, bobbin rolling or whatever bobbin these things throughout doing this because it takes a long time. So yeah, I just have Dance Moms over there. Oh, and I also made a tapestry just for like fun. Maybe I should do a video on making one, but that was pretty fun. Took a long time, but looks okay for my first tapestry. But yeah, I'm gonna set you up and I think I'm gonna do a time lapse. So then this goes by quicker. So yeah. Hey, it's me. You probably already know. This is me editing. And um, yeah, I just did all of the color shifting strings and I was really excited for these so yeah but I finished all of the color shifting threads and they're so cool and these came with the color shifting threads they're just normal colors so I think I'm gonna do those next and then do these but first I'm gonna put the color shifting threads into my box so yeah let me do that okay i put all of the color shifting threads at the bottom right here and here and here and yeah they look pretty cool so i'm just gonna do the color threads next just the normal red orange yellow green blue pink colors and i'm gonna put those i'm gonna show me putting those into there after i finish these so another time lapse so it's me again doing this again but i basically just did the color strings that came with the color shifting strings and then my brother showed up after a while because he was bored just like i was so that's why he's constantly in the video <laughs> but yeah Okay, I finished all of the colored strings that came in the color shifting pack, and I have a friend with me here today. You want to tell them the colors that I finished? Green, red, orange, pink, yellow, blue. Good job! And I'm going to put them in the box of colors. So, you want to help me, Carter? Just a minute. Okay, I finished putting them all into these specific colors. Easy. And... 
Now I'm gonna do as much of the white and black ones that I can, cause I don't think there are 36 bobbins left. So yeah, I'm dealing with this amount of bobbins. Hopefully there's 36, but I doubt it. I'm gonna do more whites than blacks because I desperately need more whites cause I have more blacks. So I'm gonna finish putting as much as I can on the bobbins and I'm gonna put them in here after. And I don't know if he's gonna stay, but. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what of all? Say, can you say, it's time lapse time? Time lapse time. <laughs> you know what time it is. Carter knows what time it is. It's time lapse time and I'm back here again. So, um, with the not with me video, I saw that y'all guys really liked that video so I thought I would do something similar like time lapse and then voiceover but yeah <laughs> so that's why I decided to do this video as well and I just got some new threads and wanted to share them with you guys. I finished with all of the black and white threads that I could do. I did mostly white because like I said I was more desperate for white string because I had sparse amounts of white string, but I still have a lot left of black and like three whites. So I'm just gonna put those in a separate like little drawer. So yeah, let me put these finished ones into the bin of black and white. So yeah. Okay, I finished putting all of the black and white threads in the little box. It looks so much better now. It's not as sparse as it used to be. So yeah, that is all of my threads organized as much as I could do, except for these. But I think I'm just gonna put them in like a little basket that I have. If you saw in my room tour video, I had this little thrift flip right here that I did. Oh, and I'm going to put all of the little plastic things in here because I like collecting them for some reason. All of these things, the plastic things, I don't know why I like to collect them. It's just, I'm really going to throw them all away and like put them in the recycling at some point, but I don't know, that's just a weird thing that I like to do. So yeah. But I have a whole bag of those. Like I said, I'm just probably just gonna keep them in here. Put them back in my little locker down there. But yeah, that is all of the organizing that I'm gonna do for my threads. I have this finished box. Sorry for the glare. I have my color shifting strings down here, then like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, gray, brown, and then the color shifting, and then the gradient shifting strings. And then I have the pack that I got from Walmart not too long ago. And I have my black and white threads. So yeah, and some little key rings. So, let me put them back in my locker and I will show you the finished organization, I would say. Sorry for my ratchet hair, but that's the besides point. So yeah, the finished go. product of them put into place. I have my little locker under my desk and yeah, I have my spare threads, my big box, my black and white threads with little key rings. And then I have the big, the tiny Walmart box of threads. And I have the little plastic things that go around the string thingy my bobbers. And then I have the extra skeins of thread that did not have any bobbins for them to go on. So yeah, that is the completed look. Okay, that is the whole video wrapped up for you. And I'm very thankful to have all of these threads. Very grateful for all of these materials that I have. And yeah, 
I hope you liked the video and if you did make sure to give it a like it would be very much appreciated and subscribe to the crafty family we are at 77 subscribers in my last video i literally said 69 subscribers and then i looked and i was like 77 seven is my lucky number so yeah that is pretty sick whoa we have grown so much so much and i'm very 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 grateful for each and every one of you so yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed have a wonderful day and stay safe wash your hands as you probably already know but yeah bye guys